What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. How was that? Was oh, that yeah, mate. Um, was, that was, was that okay? No, I think that was pretty good. I, uh, I really felt like I was a little bit too dramatic. Should we do it again? Uh, maybe. Let's check the footage. Welcome, everyone, to our new studio. And, uh, well, Nathan, this is actually not our studio. This no, is your living room, isn't is it? This is my living room. Yes. Fantastic, Nathan. Parents' living room. They're away, so they don't know we're doing this. Um, <laughs> but, yes, this is our new studio. How, how do you like it? This is It's just black. It is. It's a lot just, of black. It's, so, it's not black. It's green. Yeah, it's everything in front of us, like mid-90s. green, man. This but. is crazy. Well, this week is a very, very exciting week, and that is because things are starting to get back to normal, Nathan. Sort of. We're sort in of. level two, which in New Zealand means that we're allowed to see each other. How are you, mate? I'm very good, Nathan. Probably not supposed to shake hands. We never shake hands like that. Our handshake never. goes like yeah, this. Yeah. It goes like boom, 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 boom. It's been two months since we've done that. Wow. Two months. That's crazy. And uh, everyone's in level two, so everyone's going back to work. We're almost back to normal, still lots of healthy safety procedures yep. everywhere you go. And but if you're watching in America, you might be asking, what the heck is level two? Our government came up with a four level system where level four is complete lockdown, level three is like a semi lockdown, and level two is like a semi of that lockdown. Level one is still a lockdown, but still a semi of that lockdown. And then level zero, Nathan. What's level zero? That's that's the world that's back to normal. No COVID. That's no COVID. No COVID at all. Cure for COVID. <laughs> Man. There we go. Can't wait. What a day. day. What a day that will be. JD, you've been busy, haven't you? That's right, Nathan. Been working on the S14 all by myself. Well, thanks you know, for your help. I'm back now, hey, so I'll be able to on, give you a hand. We've been on lockdown, we so have. I don't blame you. And, and I hear you've got something in the mail. <laughs> yeah, bro. What do you got? We announced that in our last S14 video, and that is that the Sylvia will be getting a manual conversion, and I am super stoked, and Nathan is super stoked as yes. well, as you guys can tell. There's nothing like drifting a manual <laughs> when you've come from an auto. That's so true, Nathan, and I don't even think that we've driven that car properly. I don't think the car has ever driven properly <laughs> itself. <laughs> it needs a lot of work. Speaking of, I did a few things on it the other day, so check this out. So just the other day, we were fitting the front seats and wow, they just look so, so cool. Although the bolts don't quite line up, as you guys can see, we're gonna try and make those work another day. But today's job is gonna be working on the back. So the belts are in, but they're not tight. So we're gonna tighten those up. And then we are also gonna be fitting the rear seats. And for the front, we're gonna be trying to fit uh, this crash bar is just held on with uh, held on with these cable ties. So yeah, we're gonna try and take the bumper off and try and fit it properly with the crash bar the indicators and maybe also even the front door. Well, the back seats are in. Looking pretty good. Plastic pieces are in as well. Seat belts, everything. It's practically a legal Sylvia. So now we're gonna get started on the front. We're gonna remove this front bumper because it's just held on with these cable ties. And then uh, we're gonna try and fit these brackets and then also this front crash bar. I still have all the old bolts that are rusted and just horrible, but these uh, brackets over here, they would need to get re-drilled. So we're gonna try and figure out what that looks like. And hopefully I still have all the bolts so we can put that on the car and not have it.
Now what we have here is just some black zinc rust protection. We're going to be painting that um, over those brackets and then when we put them on, we know that they won't rust or hopefully not. Now as we wait for that to dry, we are going to go and try and fit this steering wheel to the S14 with a boss kit that I just found on my shelf, so hopefully it fits. Now I don't know if you can see that, but there is a Torx bit on the side of the steering wheel, but that Torx bit has a little pin in the middle. Shout out to Nathan, he gave me these, but um, these will be the ones that will fit. That's just uh, out of this world. Doing small pieces here and there, and sometimes the little things that add up to the overall big thing. And Nathan, I'm not trying to be inspirational or anything, but your E30, it's coming along together quite nicely, isn't it? It so is, and uh, if you haven't seen the last video on the E30, make sure you go and check that out. It is awesome, yep. um, but uh, yeah, heaps of stuff got done during lockdown. At the moment, I'm at a bit of a crossroad. I can't do a whole lot more until I have an engine built, and I haven't had a lot of time to go and figure how out how 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 out how 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 we are how how the how the um how to get that built and so um if you're an engine builder in auckland and you're keen to tackle a stroker m20 did i just say that um whoa then, bro then let me know name drop um, man. name drop because i got a few options at the moment not sure who to go with if you've got any suggestions or you know someone then uh let me know those car dudes builds engines those, those those car those car those those car <laughs> those car dudes like and subscribe <laughs> Now Nathan has been working on his E30 and he's going to give us a bit of an update. Nathan, well where are we up to? Well I haven't done anything since the last E30 video so if you want an update go check that out but a quick rundown if you haven't seen it, you should go see it. Dashboard is in, all the heater box and like all the air vents and everything all linked up. Pedal box is in, all linked up to the brake booster, cluster. Well, most of those wires actually have homes, there's just a few stray ones. They have homes do they? They have homes. Nathan it looks like everything is just everywhere at the moment. Yeah how, a little bit. Little how is that a thing? Like, everything's everywhere well i know where it goes this looks you do not know where it goes <laughs> you do not know you think you know but you don't know I this don't is know. how did you even like dude there's even wires hanging from like the roof yeah so the wires hanging from the roof of the sunroof what is this for the sunroof. sunroof yeah and yeah. it works, which is amazing. The sunroof actually works when, wow. when we plug it into a battery. So that's really, really cool. But basically... Comment down below if you've ever, ever worked on a car that you had to rewire. Yeah, Drop it's, it it's a big job. It is. Um, but still no engine. Whoa! But I've re like I've cleaned up all the brake booster and everything, painted it all nice, and a few other bits pieces too, which are all covered up. But yeah, all the lines are linked to the ABS unit, which is cool. So just a couple of things in the engine bay. But I'm, I'm basically ready for someone to build my engine. Thought about doing it myself, but I've decided I would like someone to build it for me because I'm finding it hard to find the time and the space to well pull an engine apart. It's a big task. Here are some pistons that I have. Wow. I've got a whole box of them. Another Fantastic. five in there because it's a six cylinder motor. Wait. I I thought you were gonna put a V8 in it. No, no. I'm telling you right now that I am planning to do a 2.8 stroker on the car, which is very exciting. So I've got big some question, big question. Rods and with or without ITBs. Well, at the moment, without because buying ITVs is very expensive <laughs> to get them going. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna do it without. But later down the line, if I feel like treating myself, then yeah, definitely, I would love to do. It is your ITVs. birthday really soon, mate. It is my birthday very soon. No um, pressure, as your best mate. If you want to drop seven grand on some ITVs <laughs> and an ECU, then go for it. Here yeah. is some um, con rods. These are the two liter rods that you need for the 2.8 stroker, which is um, awesome. So so that you get the right. Um, 
combination. I don't know what the, the terms are. <laughs> but with the two liter Conrod and the 325 pistons, with that plus a 328 crank from an E36, an M52 motor, the 2.8 crank, that will make a 2.8 liter M20. How do you know all this stuff, Nathan? Have you just been doing a whole bunch of research? Because you've just said a whole lot of numbers. And it's I'm just... all on the internet. So many people oh, have done wow. it. And so many people watching are probably like, yep, done that. It's awesome. So uh, that's why I want to do it. I will need like a little bit of a lumpier cam and maybe a reflash of the ECU. But aside from that, it should be mint, which I'm very excited about. Well, Nathan, it sounds like uh, you know what you're doing. Uh, no, don't know. That car is going to be awesome when it's done, Thank though, bro. Thank you. I like it. Now, too. bar my Audi, please. It's breaking down on me every day and I can't handle it anymore. I think you just need to cut your losses and get rid of it. Should I get an E30? Oh! These used to be the trolleys uh, Nathan used to have underneath his car, but now the car actually runs, so he can actually no, pull it, it in and no, pull it out. And, no, it doesn't do much of these. But uh, those are great, by the way, <laughs> moving your car around on those. They're great. Well, Nathan, uh, your car cover is meant to go over your car. Yeah, well, I've been working on it, so, you know, it's quite a bit of dust on there, but... um. I think a man spending all this time on a car would look a little bit more after it. Eh? Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> genuinely, up. though, I cannot wait to see this thing running. Like, it's super, super exciting to me that, you know, if we look at, like, videos from, like, three years ago, what this looked like, and then now, um, even though it doesn't run, I'm just can't wait for more. And like I said before, Nathan, it's the little things coming together to create the big picture. And uh, Did you say that? Oh, yeah, I did say that. I don't remember that. Oh. It sounds like something I'd say. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, well. That's awkward. That's <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I love this car, and this car is so cool. Can't wait to see this thing on the road. Bang! Oh! <laughs> I genuinely just slammed my camera into that into that umbrella, Nathan. Your camera, not mine. Lucky I had a little cover on the lens. Anyway, cameras aren't that expensive. I don't know why everyone's on about. Now, the purpose of this video is just to give everyone an update of where we're at and how excited we are to finally be doing work together. Super cool to see the S14 coming together. Honestly, it looks fantastic and I can't wait to get it sideways. Get a manual box in it, maybe even an LSD. Well, and a Hydro E. A Hydro E. Are you actually saying that right now? You're gonna do it? I'm doing it, Are you bro. doing it? Oh, flip, there he is, okay. to do it, <laughs> Not bro. getting the waff. So uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for heaps more to come. And yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> just awesome if you hit the subscribe button that would just be the best <laughs> see you later <laughs>